Hello, good morning. Today's lecture is on simple binomial logistic regression using SPSS. And in this example, independent variable is categorical. I am Dr. Sandeep Sivadan, Associate Professor in Community Medicine, Quest International University, Malaysia. Simple binomial logistic regression it is otherwise known as simple logistic regression predicts the probability that an observation falls into one of two categories of a dichotomous dependent variable based on one independent variable that can be either continuous or categorical. So please keep in mind outcome variable or dependent variable is dichotomous or binary or binomial. That's why binomial logistic regression or sometimes binary logistic regression also based on one independent variable that can be either continuous or categorical. In this example, our independent variable is categorical. There are some assumptions for doing simple binomial logistic regression. Assumption 1 is that dependent variables should be measured on a dichotomous scale in which categories are mutually exclusive. Assumption 2 is that there can be one independent variable which can be either continuous or categorical. Assumption 3, there should be independence of observations. Data should be collected using representative sampling method. Now we can go through the steps in SPSS data. First, we need to click on Analyze button, then click on Regression. There are so many regression options are there. So please select binary logistic because outcome variable is binary or binomial. So we need to select binary logistic option. Then we need to select dependent variable and independent variable. Dependent variable in this situation is presence of heart disease. So we need to select presence of heart disease and move to dependent variable. Make sure that presence of heart di disease is coded as binary or dichotomous. So in this case, we have coded as 1 and 0. 1 for presence of heart disease, 0 for absence of heart disease. So whoever got heart disease will be coded as 1. Whoever didn't get heart disease will be coded as 0. Then please select independent variable. In this case, independent variable is gender. So select gender and move to the box covariates. So that's why gender is moved to covariates box. Then we need to click on categorical. Why? Because independent variable is say categorical variable. We need to define the categorical variable. So please click on categorical button. This is for defining the categorical independent variable. In this case, categorical independent variable is gender. Then when you click on that, one new box appear, define categorical variable. So it is showing covariate gender and we need to move that covariate to categorical covariate. Then only computer will realize that our covariate or our independent variable is categorical. Then, then we need to define it. In this case, I will tell you, uh, gender is a categorical independent variable. There are two options, male or female. We need to select, we need to code as 0 and 1. 0 for one category and 1 for another category. So in this case, uh, 
we have coded uh, 0 as female and 1 as male. There is one reason for that. Why, you know? Because outcome variable is development of heart disease. So, development of heart disease is higher among males compared to females based on our previous research. So, we have to take females as reference category and a male as the study category. So, we have coded female as 0 and a male as 1 and we want to select female as the reference category. So, that one we need to select in this box. Reference category. It is now shown as default last. You need to change as first. Because in our example, female is the reference category and it is coded as 0. And a male is the study category coded as 1. So, we have to change reference category from last to first. So, Select reference category of the categorical independent variable based on the risk of development of dependent variable and click change. So I will explain some more then it will be clear to you. Okay, in this example risk of heart disease is higher among males. So females are selected as reference category. Here in data females are coded as zero and the males are coded as 1. So, reference category is first because out of 0 and 1, first is 0. Okay, so females are the first. So, we are selecting reference category as first. So, please check reference category we click as first. Then you need to click change. Otherwise, computer will not identify it as first. So, first you change reference category to first, then click on change. Then, computer will add that to the categorical covariates box as first. First means reference category is the first. Then, click continue. Then, you have to click the options. There are so many options needed to click for binary logistic regression. These are the various options. Classification plot, Hosmer, Limshaw, goodness of fit, case-wise listing of residuals, display at the last step, okay. Uh, then confidence interval of exponential b, so many options. Let us see what all things we will select. So, please select classification plot. Classification plot means it will give a table showing how much correctly the model or regression model is classifying the individuals as deceased and not deceased. How much correctly classifying? Okay. Hosmer, Limshaw, goodness of it will tell you how much good the regression model is. Wherever we are telling model, that means that is a regression model for predicting heart disease based on the independent variable which is gender. That is Hosmer, Limshaw, goodness of it. Case-wise listing of residuals. When you click outliers outside to standard deviation, so computer will uh, remove the outliers before starting analysis. Okay, outliers outside to standard deviation. Confidence interval for exponential b. Exponential b means exponential of b. Exponential of b is exponential of regression coefficient. So, it is equivalent of odds ratio. Odds ratio is expressed as exponential of b in regression analysis. So, we need to click on confidence interval for exponential b as 95%. That means, computer will calculate 95% confidence interval of exponential b, which is 95% confidence interval of odds ratio. Then, display at last step. When you click at last step, computer will give you the final analysis only. 
if you click display at each step computer will give multiple tables it will be confusing for uh, initial level researchers so display at a last step then include constant in the model when you click on that computer will include the SPSS software will include the constant also in regression model then click continue then click ok so now the results appear in the output box output window so first result it shows is the model summary so it is for the model how we can uh, find that uh, how much good is the model there are three different statistical values please check on nagel kirk r squared value nagel kirk r squared value in this example is 0 0.065 so we need to convert it into percentage so how we can convert we can multiply by 100 then it will be 6.5 so how to interpret I will tell you 6.5% of variance in development of heart disease can be predicted by the model. 6.5% of variance in development of heart disease can be predicted by the model. To, be, to elaborate can be predicted by the regression model of adding gender as the independent variable. Is it clear? Okay. Then, another one statistics for model fit is chi-square. So, one table showing chi-square value for model. It is showing that chi-square value is 4.809 and a degree of freedom is 1. And the significance value is 0 0.28. What it means? It is statistically significant. So model of predicting the development of heart disease by including independent variable of gender was statistically significant. Chi-square value is 4.809 and a p-value less than 0 0.05. So, next is the classification table. Classification table means how well the model classifies the individual into heart disease present, heart disease absent. According to this, okay, uh, in our study, 65 were not having heart disease and 35 people were having heart disease. Out of the 65 who were not having heart disease, all the 65 were classified as not having heart disease by the model. So it is 100%. 100% of those without heart disease were predicted as not having heart disease. 35 people were having heart disease. But you know, out of 35, 0 were predicted as having heart disease. All the 35 were predicted as having no heart disease or not having heart disease. So 0% correctly. Okay, 65% uh, 65 all the 65 of, of those without heart disease were predicted as not having heart disease. Not a single of those having heart disease were predicted as having heart disease. So overall, 65% of those uh, individuals were classified correctly by the model or regression model. Now we can go through the sensitivity and specificity classification calculation. So first, we need to uh, tabulate the results of the regression model as as we uh, tabulate the result of a screening test. Okay, predicted as heart disease as rows 
and the presence of heart disease as the cola. Okay, as already told, 35 uh, individuals were having heart disease actually, and out of them, zero were predicted as having heart disease, and all the 35 were uh, predicted as not having heart disease. 65 individuals were not having heart disease, but all 65 were predicted as not having heart disease by our model. So, how true positive means those who are really having heart disease and those who are predicted as having heart disease. So, here zero is the true positive. That means those who were really having heart disease and those who were predicted as having heart disease, zero. Okay, second one, those who were not having heart disease and predicted as having heart disease, that also zero. So, that is false positive also zero. False negative, false negative means what? They were actually having heart disease but predicted as not having heart disease. That is a false negative. 35 people were false negative. They were actually having heart disease but predicted as not having heart disease. True negative were 65. What it means? They were not having heart disease and predicted as not having heart disease. So we can calculate sensitivity. Sensitivity is true positive divided by total diseased. True positive here is 0 divided by total diseased. Total diseased is 35. So, true positive divided by true positive plus false negative is 0 by 35 is 0. Specificity, true negative divided by total not deceased. True negative here is 65. Total not deceased is also 65. So, 65 divided by 65 is 1. That is 100% specificity. Positive predictive value means true positive divided by true positive plus false positive. That is 0 divided by 0 cannot be calculated. Negative predictive value means true negative divided by true negative plus false negative. So 65 divided by true negative plus false negative. That is 65 plus 35, 100. That is 0. 65 that is 65 percent sensitivity of the model was 0 percent specificity was 100 percent positive predictive value was cannot be calculated and a negative predictive value was 65 percent now we can go to the result table that shows variables in the equation. In this result table, uh, it shows exponential b value for gender 1. As we told earlier, gender 0 was considered as the reference category. That is, gender 0 is females and gender 1 is male. So, males were having 2.71 times higher odds of development of heart disease compared to female. Exponential B is the odds ratio. If it is more than 1 and a 95% confidence interval of exponential B does not include or cross 1, that independent variable is a significant risk factor. Here, gender of 1 or gender of being male was associated with an increased odds of exhibiting heart disease. So here exponential B is 2.719 that means for males odds ratio to exhibit heart disease was 2.719 and a 95% confidence interval of odds ratio was from 1.075 to 6.879. So, both the 95% confidence interval, both the lower limit and upper limit was above 1. So, it was statistically significant. 
p value in this example was 0 0.035 that is less than 0 0.05 so it is statistically significant now we can see how to present the result a binomial logistic regression was performed to ascertain the effects of being male gender on the likelihood that participants have heart disease so we are studying the association between gender and development of heart disease development of heart disease is the outcome variable or dependent variable and gender as the independent categorical variable gender is having two categories male and female so we have to select which is the reference category because heart disease is uh higher among males so females are taken as the reference category so how much higher risk of development of heart disease of being male gender that is a that is we are studying using this model logistic regression model was statistically significant so chi squared value was 4.809 and the p value less than 0.05 model explained 6.5% based on the nagel kirk r squared value model explained 6.5% of the variance in development of heart disease okay nagel kirk r squared value was 0.065 so we converted into percentage so 6.5% of the variance in development of heart disease was explained or predicted by the The regression model and the regression model correctly classified 65% of individuals so total 100 individuals 65 individuals were correctly classified by this regression model and we calculated sensitivity specificity positive predictive value and negative predictive value sensitivity was 0% specificity was 100% and the positive predictive value of model cannot be calculated and the negative predictive value was 65% percent. 